Welcome to The Canvas. I'm your host, Azaz Zahid Karim, and today we are located at the Gallery for Life. And today my special guest is the managing director of the Gallery for Life, as well as an artist. I'm here today with Chaturanga. Chaturanga, how are you doing? I'm good. Art, it is an expression of skill, technique, and creativity. It's where you bring your imagination onto a canvas. I'm your host, Azar Karim. I am a producer, content creator, and an artist. I invite you to this show to meet other artists. This could be the creative, the hungry, the energetic, and the aspiring. And get to know their insights on their art, their creativity, and more about themselves. Want to know what it takes to be an artist? Welcome to The Canvas with Azar Zahid Karim. So Chaturanga, tell me, tell us about yourself as a person as well as an artist. Uh, as a person, I'm a person searching on my own research way of making a better living through art mm -hmm. in South Asian society. So far I have been succeeded and I am going through a self-challenging journey, never ending, mm -hmm. looking for more possibilities of establishing a better society for artists. So what made you want to open Gallery for Life? Actually, uh, I was uh, exhibiting locally and worldwide and in Sri Lanka I was doing a lot of exhibitions with Lionel Wendt Gallery. Mm -hmm. So there was a point I wanted to expand more and to do more experiments. So I wanted a space for my own. Mm -hmm. And after that I wanted to create a space for people like me whom they can come here and do more experimental work and to perform themselves. That is why I created this space. So what are the future plans for Gallery for Life? So actually the future plan, the major plan of Gallery for Life, in our Asian culture, we have a thinking and a mentality that a person can't make a better living through art. Mm -hmm. So actually the society won't encourage much people to become full-time artists because we don't see much more avenues mm -hmm. for artists. So actually I want to prove it wrong and we want to create more platforms for young upcoming generation with talents through Gallery for Life. So you're basically providing them a platform to showcase yes. the talent and of maybe even take it as a career? Yes. So in terms of your style, could you explain to us what is your art style? Actually, uh, I was a self-tutored artist, so it was a challenging journey and I did a lot of self-experiments. Then I started mastering in palette knife, mm -hmm. in more in cubism and abstract ways. So I did it over years and years and then I created my own style. Uh, in both acrylic and oil mediums. Now I researched some info about you that you were actually a lawyer. So what made, what, how did that transition happen from becoming a lawyer to an artist and a gallery owner? Actually my education background was, uh, my first degree was strategic marketing. Mm -hmm. After that I got my LLBs as well. But art was more like a hobby and a passion. And all this time I was doing art. And then I start Third self journey, exhibiting worldwide, start a lot of traveling and looking for artistic opportunities around the world. So there was a time, uh, my professional career as a corporate uh, person clashed with my this mm -hmm. artistic career. So I had to uh, make a choice. So I gave up my law and corporate uh, professional career and full time I got into arts and then I started my journey as an artist. So you basically followed your passion and you felt like maybe this is the time. Yes. So you mentioned earlier that you focus on cubism as one of your main styles. Uh, why cubism? Because uh, as a child I was uh, influenced a lot by Sri Lankan painter Sid Sarat, Jagat Ravindra, after that uh, Picasso, mm -hmm. so uh, George Keat. Likewise, uh, I saw a different form in this style. Mm -hmm. So I started uh, study that more, do more experiments. 
and I created my own expression way. And in terms of workspace and essentials, also time, what, like, what is the workspace you need, what's the workspace environment and what do you need mainly when you are producing your artwork? Normally I work in large canvases, so I have uh, large studios in Sri Lanka, so mainly we, I work in acrylic or oil medium mm -hmm. with large canvases. But also I have a set of travel sketchbooks mm -hmm. and canvas pads and always there's a bag of acrylics and set of palette knives in my car. And how much time do you think takes for these, like yeah. the process? So uh, it depends on the size of the work mm -hmm. and the project which I'm involved in. Uh, travel size work, normally daily I'm producing, but large mm -hmm. works I need to focus more and to concentrate more. Mm -hmm. So it takes much time. And what's one of the worst things you've heard as an artist? Or uh, even as a gallery owner, what's one of the worst things you've yes, heard? Yes, uh, as an artist, uh, the struggle I had to go through at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was very challenging and it was not easy. Yeah. And the lack of opportunities. And the opportunities are limited only to a selected crowd. So that, that were the main challenges I had to face mm -hmm. as an artist. And as a gallery owner, this uh, gallery concept came after I was uh, operating and working many years as an artist. So it was very challenging to create my own space and an uh, international standard gallery in the heart of Colombo, so it was not easy at all. So I had to find the financials throughout my artistic journey. Mm -hmm. So actually that is the message I want to give the society. So this is a gallery space created by an artist. Mm -hmm. So actually I was not a businessman. Yeah. So throughout these challenges I think I have been succeeded. So I have created something called entrepreneurship and introduce it to Sri Lankan society where uh, people uh, make a living mm -hmm. and uh, started supporting to the economic stream of the country through their aesthetic skills. I respect the fact that you provide a platform for other artists who can in a way help themselves as well as help the Sri Lankan economy. So tell us in terms of Gallery for Life, how would it stand out from other galleries? Actually, uh, Gallery for Life is something like an oasis for the new and upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. So here we do not filter or categorize artists. We give them similar opportunities, whoever has the talent. Mm -hmm. So likewise here we promote young upcoming artists. If they need to uh, upgrade their skills, we have our own studio premises inside the gallery where any artist can come here and practice mm -hmm. and to develop their skills. Parallel to the gallery, we have created an e-commerce platform yeah. where Sri Lankan artists can promote their work internationally and to sell their work internationally. Mm -hmm. So that is something like eBay for yeah. Sri Lankan art and crafts. So that is also one side benefit for the artists. And apart from that, we guide them in their own exhibitions. We support them in curation to promote their work, mm -hmm. to find a market for their creations and to build up a better audience through social media and web-based mm -hmm. platforms. So likewise, I want more young, upcoming, talented people yeah. to come and utilize the facilities here. The services we are providing freely to come and use it. Then they will have a better future in their own artistic way. So in a way the gallery's main intention is to guide them and to even help them better themselves as an artist and to maybe reach even international standards. Yes. Our gallery theme is taking Sri Lankan art talents to the international forums. Mm -hmm. So that is the major objective we are working on. So this is the last question for the show. A few words of encouragement for the audience. Yeah, actually, uh, people with artistic talents mm -hmm. and people who wants to become full-time artists, they have this main problem. How can we make a living through art? Yeah. That is the major problem in our society. So all the parents are not encouraging their children to become an artist. Everyone wants their child to become a doctor, lawyer, engineer. Mm -hmm. 
or an accountant. But parents are uh, answerless when it comes to art. So that is why we have created this. So actually, I'm a living example for that. Mm -hmm. So I want the young generation to uh, follow my path, to learn my story, mm -hmm. and to find their own opportunities in their creativity. Mm -hmm. So that is the message I can give to Sri Lankan youngsters. Thank you, Chaturanga, for the kind words. And we loved having you as a guest on our show. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.